Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 31st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see on Friday, we did rally up towards the middle of the bullish band. And then we really got rejected here at the middle of the bullish band and broke down. And this is a fairly bearish looking candlestick. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So it may well be that we'll roll over here and head back towards the bottom, break above the 20 exponential, could open the door to the 50 up here at 91. So let's look at oil. So oil did reach towards the top of the Bollinger Band and then got rejected there. So it may well be that we'll see a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band of roughly at the $65 or probably even towards the bottom. So this has been going back and forward from the middle and occasionally basically breaks down. So this was due to um, news that Iran may start producing oil again and uh, therefore capacity or the supply in the market would increase and the prices would expect it to fall. But that uh, those negotiations have not finished yet and that is still a possibility that we'll have a major pullback at some point if that were the case. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bullish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is, uh, well, kind of was all over the place uh, on Friday. We did test the 20 exponential, uh, rallied up towards the 3.03, .03, and then settled just above the top middle of the bullish band. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is flat. So breakdowns from here have been found massive support, at roughly at 2.89. And the rallies from here will mostly find major resistance at the 3.08. So let's look at copper. So copper did a really nice run on Thursday and also on Friday. Went from the bottom here up of 4.5 all the way up towards 4.68. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So it looks like we are going to head back towards the top of the bullish band are roughly at the 4.7. So yes, let's look at gold. So gold is now trending sideways. We have been on a really nice rally and now we're just basically going sideways. We did pull back a little bit on Friday and then rallied at the end of the session and now we're trading at 1903. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is still bullish, but it's turning around here. And the RSI is significantly overbought at this point and is still bullish. So pullback could be expected at some point. We did do it right here on Friday at the 1882 and then it rallied. So that is at the moment is the, um, is the bottom of the bargain. If we take out that, then we could drop towards the 20 exponential down here at the 1850. But still a very, very bullish market uh, at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So very similar for silver, we broke down towards the 20 exponential. And as you can see, 20 exponential has been massive support in the past. And this is a very, looking, uh, very bullish looking candlestick. It may well be that we'll rally up towards uh, 28.42, which is the top of the bullish band. Technically, the they are fairly mixed. MACD is, uh, is on the signal line. Uh, stochastic is bearish. The CCI is still is becoming bearish. And the RSI is flat at this current stage. Break below the 20 exponential. Could open the door to the 50 down at 26.26. So let's look at platinum. So platinum... Try to rally on Friday. We did go towards the bottom here, kind of tested it three times, roughly at 1167 and rallied up towards 1179. 
Technically, the others, they are fairly bearish for, for Platinum. MACD is bearish, the Stochastic is flat, CCI is uh, bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. If we take out these previous lows here, 1158, that could drop all the way down to 1100, and that 200 moving average down here to 1057. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium did uh, rally on Thursday and also on Friday, ran into resistance here at the 20 exponential. Technically, it looks like they are turning around for, uh, for Pallium. MACD is still bearish, uh, Stochastic is bullish, and CGI is still bearish, but it's becoming bullish, and the RSI is bullish at this current stage. So this could be the floor. This was also the previous highs here, so it would make sense that this was basically the floor at the 27.21 and that we are going to rally back towards the 3,000. If we manage to take out the middle of the bullish band, then that is a possibility. Break below here, that could drop all the way down to 2,500. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium really took off after testing the 50 moving average here at 23.11. Um, technically, the they are all turning around, becoming bullish. And at the moment, we are going to test 2500, break about 2500, open the door 2545. So let's look at nickel. Sorry. That was a little bit stare. Sorry. So nickel tested the uh, 50 moving average down here and has been rallying uh, basically uh, the entire last week. We are we're now approaching the previous highs here, managed to break above that, opens the door to uh, 19,000 and then 20,000. Break below here, 50 moving average offered a massive support and so did uh, has the 20 exponential in the middle of the bullish band. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around and are bullish at this current stage. So 50 moving average definitely offered massive support when they broke towards those levels. So let's look at sugar. So sugar did rally up towards uh, 0.70 and uh, 1767, uh, 63, sorry, and then gave most of those gains back. Uh, if you look at technical we can see that MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So due to the fact that we did not break below the middle of the bullish band, it could mean that we will continue up towards the top here of the bullish band, which is roughly at, at 0 0.18. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is still trending underneath the 50 moving average. We have a crossing here at the 20 and the 50, which is a very bearish indication. If we, uh, we can saw it right here as well, when we basically drop towards uh, 0 0.77. And um, yeah, we could go back towards those levels. That is just about the 200 moving average. Technical indicators, as you can see, are all very bearish indeed. So this will most likely be a contested um, price level if we were to break down. We have not managed to break above the 50 moving average, so this is not looking really good for, for cotton, but um, yes, you will see. So let's look at cocoa. So cocoa did rally up towards the 20 exponential and then broke down again. So this is, at this current stage, just a trending sideways. We are and the highs of of roughly 2,548 and then the lows here of 2,316 and we are most likely going to go back towards these previous lows as we got rejected here. Break above this then we could head back towards these previous highs. Technical indicators they are all favoring the downside at this current stage so yes rejection there looks like we're going back towards these previous low levels. So let's look at wheat. So wheat prices did rally significantly on Thursday and got heavily rejected here on Friday. So at this current stage, it looks like we're going back towards these previous lows of roughly 638. If that basically breaks, then we have the 200 moving average down here at 624. 
Yes, this uh, not looking very good, but last time we got to, towards the 200 moving average, we have this massive move to the upside. So this could just be um, a rally due to the fact that we were on the edge of being overstretched and over oversold as well. And uh, we will not see a massive rally until we get towards the 200 moving average. A break below the 200, opens the door to 600, and then way, way lower than that. But 200 moving average has actually been an area where this has rallied. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.